Hey, what's up guys? Team Booster Break, and today for you, we are going to, well, I'm going to show you how I edit videos, and this really goes along with, you know, pack openings and a monthly subscription box unboxings, all that stuff, but in this video specifically, we are going to be editing episode 23 of my pack lock that I do with Super Duper Danny. So, uh, what really wanted me, or motivated me to want to make this is... Um, there's a channel called Great Game Grumps, Game Grumps that I'm sure you guys know of. Um, and there's one person on there called Barry, who's that guy right there. But he did an editing tutorial. It was an hour and three minutes long, but I sat there and I watched the whole thing. And he taught me so, because I, I always use Premiere Pro. And this specifically taught me a lot about it. So it was really helpful. And um, yeah, hopefully I can help some of you out in the meantime but yeah so huge shout out to uh, Barry obviously because he's he taught me a lot of stuff like he taught me how to do this and I didn't know how to do that and and you hit the tilde key the tilde key zooms in on portions of stuff so anyway yes like I said we're gonna be ep editing episode 23 so it's gonna be pretty laid back it's gonna be a long video um, it's just gonna be the whole process so for starters I wanna show you here's my side Okay, so as you see, I already um, sized everything and set it up with the layout, which uh, I don't even know what I'm doing here. As you see, it fits perfectly. So there you go with that. Um, and I also did that to Danny's side, which as you see, just like that. I'll put that there just for reference again. So as you see, it's all squared off and because, yeah, as you see, I render them like that so the other side so what you do is you go ahead and type in you didn't see that type in crop in the sidebar or just look for it but typing in is a lot easier and you just want to drag it over to there and as you see we're just going to put it at 50 and then it crops it and then bada bing you got both of them right there so what I usually like to do is I look and make the first layout and I drag it all the way through and then I work from there so um, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now actually so I already have Photoshop open and as you see uh, on the other screen let me drag it over I take screenshots of our teams before we start um, so I'll know who we're starting off with and then from there I will edit accordingly but this is Danny's team and as you see she has prime booty on there um, so we need to go ahead and add Prime Booty and Druggy is gone. So um, I'll show you how I do that. So we go over to the right side as you see Pokemon right. So this is, oh no that's for mystery. I don't have them labeled which I probably should. Um, there we go. <laughs> Alright so this is for Gloom. Now I'll probably edit this part out and I'll just keep my voice because I don't want you guys seeing my because I actually know you could see I'm pretty sure you could see all this stuff so uh, we're just gonna go into pack lock here and we're gonna pull out the duskull image whoopsies we're gonna go like this okay so you just resize it and if you hold shift and use this it keeps it the same uh, dimensions so that's very important and I like to have all the Pokemon facing inward as you see all of hers are facing to the left all of mine are facing to the right um, so this is already facing to the left so I don't really need to do anything but yeah you just use the other picture that was there for reference and you, you just click it OK and then as you see the old picture has effects and the effects on it uh, you just go to blending options then you click drop shadow make the opacity 100 and it's 2 44 10 and then that's it so you delete this make sure this is um, behind that had to burp and I have it in the wrong area derp but yeah you just do something like this okay you make it where it looks about right we will rename it prime booty now this is a very large name um, so normally I would like you know make some parts smaller but we have enough room here where we can work with it so it's really to the point where I just want to make sure this is selected and I'm just using the arrow keys to kind of move everything around to see where I like it just so everything's somewhat cent whoopsies somewhat centered 
we actually want to move that to the right a little bit because everything else is really going to be moving the other way and Jake the RC snake is the one that I want to get out of the way all right so now we can go back to five and center this off and that looks pretty good so so now that we have that layout done I just go ahead and I save obviously because I save the PSD and then I save as a PNG. PNG allows you to have a transparent window. As you see, these are all the old layouts. I have from 65 and currently this will be SDT layout number 84. So I've done 84 different layouts for this Let's Play so far. All right. So we're going to go ahead and click save. And now that's finished. So I'm I'm not sure if we actually need this. Um, so I'll keep it minimized. I haven't, re I haven't. Yeah, you usually watch the whole episode, but I really wanted to get this recorded. So, um, but then you just double click over here, and you begin to look for the layout, which is right there. And now we could kind of get going on this. So, like I said, I just drag it all the way over, and now it's a matter of syncing. As you, if you watch. All right, are you ready to go, and Japan? Hmm. It is one of those little puny burps. Okay, as Dana. you see. There isn't any, you know, much of anything uh, okay, going on. It was like those little, like, All right, we'll do the hey, five, four, talking, I'm talking, we're not synced. So, how do you fix that? Well, in, before each episode, me and Danny sync the video. And I'm not sure where it's at. Recording. Recording. Oh, sh So, we'll look for shit. that right now. Up so I can see it. Now I'm really ready. I'm really, really ready now. Let's see. Where my hat? Nope, nope. Two. Full okay, ash so I'm recording right now. I'm doing the 54321, so I'll probably just put a marker there. And now I'm going to look for when Danny does it. Exactly. What? Those bitch nigga burps. And I said. Recording and oh! Re somebody commented in the one video recording. of the trunk. Alright. So, I'll probably edit this out until I find it. And I think it's in the spam, but. Okay, there we go. So, Danny recorded a lot more before me. Um, but as you see, I'm right there, so right about here, we'll drag it right over, and this little thing right here just lengthens the timeline, so I'll lengthen it to about right here, see where it's at. Five? Two. Okay, so I need to be over a little bit more. Five? Four? Three? Um, she was a little late, so probably about right there. Five? Four? Three, two, wound. Perfect. Very good. So that's finished. So as you see, we can just go like this and like this. Now, this beginning stuff, before we actually start the episode, I always save because this is what goes into the Sass Master Chronicles. So we kind of just, like, did Danny just say? All right, so we kind of just wait until Danny. I usually look at the bottom here for when Danny starts the Let's Play. This looks about right. What is going on? And that is. So, um, I'm just using the arrow <laughs> keys. The arrow keys move it frame by frame. As you see, this is recorded at 29.97 frames per second. So, usually we'll start it right about there. And then we will use the cut tool, which is up here. And also, if you just hold alter, um, Alt, the Alt key, and scroll with your mouse, it does the same thing. So, we're just going to go boop. Boop, boop, and Premiere knows that you're trying to do a straight thing with this, so it usually auto, you don't have to be perfectly in line with it. It'll just know automatically. So, anyway, so now we have all that saved. Um, I usually just select it and drag it to the end and not worry about it until the end. So, here's the beginning of the Let's Play. So, now we're going to go over here and we're going to go to the intro. And as you see, this is the intro, obviously, and we're just going to drag this on over to there. So, if you look... What is going on my po- Okay. It works. Also, it's thundering outside, so that's pretty legit. The beginning part's done, and then basically what I'm gonna do now is watch the entire episode, and you'll see, like this one, for example, is, isn't used anymore. Um, we're just going to delete this marker and we can actually delete 
this marker. Whoopsie. But I really want to show you guys everything. Obviously, this part you don't need to see. Um, but one thing I do want to show you before I watch the episode, because that's what I'll do. I'll watch the whole episode. Um, make markers of what I need to do. Like if we ever say something like, oh, look up, blah, 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 and show them on screen, I'll do that. Stuff like that. So I'll add markers. I also add markers for when I change layouts, stuff like that. So, But before I do do that, I would want to show you how I resize. So um, let's say, for example, well, I'm just going to keep the... I'm just going to keep a, um, whatchamacallit, I'll just go like this, as opposed to adding the original file. So, as you see, um, here is me over there, and it's already fit the screen, but if it, let's say it wasn't fit the screen, okay, let's just go, um, we'll hit motion, I'll you know, make it all wanky, go put it like right there, right? So now, as you see, it's not fit the screen. If you want to do that, basically what you need to do is click on the thing you want to use and click motion. The reason why I say click motion as opposed to just going like this and then trying to move it is it'll automatically collect or um, select the layout. So we don't want that. So what I do is if you click the thing you want to change and then click motion, it'll keep it locked. Okay. And then you kind of just work with it. All right. And you kind of just try your best to get as perfect as you can. I usually like to get it to about there. You can still see some black, but for the most part, it's finished. And then I just click this, and I go to 100%. And then from there is when I really get down. So I'll go like that. I'll look at this side. As you see, we have a lot of slack on this side. So I'll try to move it over here. And it's really just a guess and check. That's all it is. It's a guess and check. And it's kind of a matter of doing your best to get it to where you like it. But, I mean, it looks tedious, it looks long and annoying, it's not terribly bad. So as you see, it looks good right about there, it's good on top. I just fit, you know, and then you're basically golden. So that's what you would do if... That's what I do to get these perfectly centered and all that stuff. It's really guess and check. So anyways, like I said, I'm going to watch this now, make a bunch of markers, and I will be right back. All right, and we are back. I have just watched the entire thing. Um, <laughs> huge. But anyways, there's not much going on in this episode. Um, as you see, I only have three timestamps here, and one of them is for a thumbnail. So, yeah, the, as far as editing goes, this is an easy, easy, easy episode to edit. So, yeah, I, I'm very happy about that. But usually when I have an episode that, that is like this easy to edit... I will usually look for something that I can add. Like, I'll try to do a little more work than usual. Um, just because there isn't much to edit, so I, I want to make it quality. So, I'll, you know, I'll add some nice effect or something. So, at this part right here, uh, we talk about what I should name my Mawile. And essentially, I decide that I'm just going to... Um, I rename it a name. So, I'm probably going to... I'll show you what I do in a little bit. So, anyway, uh, one thing I do want to show you is how I do the ending. So, as you see, here's the outro. Bye! Bye! Mm. Okay. Mm. Perfect! Alright. <laughs> so, we're just going to use the arrow key. And do that. So, yeah, we'll just go like this. And I can't do it all at once just because it will go uneven. So, there. That's how you, that's how it ends. So, it just goes... You enjoyed, and we will see you guys next time. Bye! Bye! Mm. Okay. Okay, so that's how it ends. Um, and now usually what I would do next is get the Sass Master Chronicles or the bloopers going. Unfortunately, there's no bloopers really in here. Like in the beginning, there's a little bit because I like burp or something. Bring that back up so I can see it. Now I'm really ready. I'm really ready. I'm gonna find it really quick. I'm gonna burp the whole time. <laughs> you should have just burped for the last one. That would have been actually really fun. That would have made the bloopers. It was like, there really are no Sass Master Chronicles, so I'm just gonna include this little snippet. It's really not that funny <laughs> at all. Four. Three. Um, so what I would do is I just go like this. Two. Wound. <sighs> what? <laughs> I was holding a burp the whole time. <laughs> you should have just burped for the last one. That would have been hmm. actually really fun. That would have made the bloopers. It was Honestly, one of those little cutie burps. Ah, uh, so it would have just been an embarrassment. It was like those little, like, pop. Those little bitch nigga burps. <laughs> okay. 
we will not <laughs> I will bleep that out in this episode but um yeah so we'll probably just stop it right there and bring this over and what I'll do is I'm gonna add the price is right sad song I guess you could say as a sound effect so I'll go do that really quick Okay. So that's done. All right, so now we'll add that in. Just like that. So, uh, what I do is let's extend that over. So, we go ahead and we take out is this 84 or okay, yeah, this is 84. We need 83 for this part. So we'll just extend it. Okay, so that's done. Um, and what I'll do is I will take the SAS Master logo. I will put it over like that. Um, and then we want to scale it to frame size. So as you see, this is I made this on a uh, 720 Photoshop file. So as you see, this is 1080. And it looks much smaller. So all you do is you right click and then go ahead and click scale to frame size. And that'll make it the same size as the video so as you see boom problem solved so there's that and then I always right as the video ends it fades okay. and then it goes into the um, broken bar thing so we have the color bars and this is a perfect another perfect example as you see so you just want to scale the frame size on that and then we go ahead and we add the blooper sound effect, which you can just find on YouTube and then just download it. Um, as, as you see, it just goes, and there's no need for all this extra space. So I always like to just cut it right about there. I put it here, and then I just make this the same um, length. So you get this. Okay, but I don't like how it just goes right from this to this. So I add in a fade, oh, so sorry, not a fade, a um, dip to black on all of this. So we just go like this, like this, and like this. So now we get something like this. Time. Bye. Bye. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and again, it kind of fades into that, which I hate when it does that. So we go ahead and we move this over so it goes it fades I don't get why I've just never oh it took away the fade to black or dip to black rather sorry so it goes like this okay. alright okay. and that's a little too far so we'll try to extend it uh, and then we'll just zoom in so we can get it a lot closer alright so it'll be something like this okay. Okay. And that's what editing is, guys. It's just a lot of rewatching. A lot of rewatching over and over and over. And I, I like this to be a little bit longer, actually. So we'll do something like that. Yeah. All right. So that's done. Okay. And usually there's a lot more Sass Master Chronicles as well. But like I said, this episode really isn't too. Uh, it's not too too difficult to do. So. Anyways, we have the blooper sound effect, we have the color bar. Now we will add this on over like a so. So it transitions mm. nicely. Okay. Two. Wound. Okay, so it transitions well. What? We're just gonna go <laughs> to the ends. And since it's oh also I did want to add. Uh, exponential fade is for audio and it just kind of fades the audio out. Um okay. yeah. As you heard, the audio got more silent at the end. So we will just do the same for this. Pretty simple. Um, I don't usually add it to me because I don't have music. The music comes from Danny's video. Um, and then we'll just do a dip to black for the top part. Just like a so. So then it, like, it doesn't just go straight into it. It fades nicely as the video ends. So the final product is like this. It was like those little like... Okay, see, that won't work because I was still talking. 
So we have to go back to that and select all of this and extend it out. Like. This little bitch nigga. Okay, so um, we'll do a little less than that. Not a full second. We'll do like this. I don't want Danny cursing in it. That was good. That was good. Um, and then I will just add the Price is Right sound effect right at the end so it would end fully like this. Like those little, like... Okay. So that's kind of how it ends. That would have been actually really fun. That would have made the bloopers. It was one Honestly, of those little puny made... burps. Ah, uh, so it would have just been an embarrassment. It was like those little, like... Okay. So it that works, but let's see if we try it over here. Really fun. That would have made the bloopers. It was one Honestly, of those little puny made... burps. Uh, okay, right there. So we'll stop this here. Okay, and now okay, this is a good example to show you guys as well. As you see, if I try to move the audio, it brings the video with it. That's because they're connected. So all you have to do is right click. Um, and you can see all this stuff, but you want what you want to do is click unlink that unlinks the audio from the video so I can now move this without being interrupted there and since that's gonna be like that I can get rid of the exponential fade so we will end up having something like this um, we could bring all this back too by the way so I really didn't need to do that but anyways it was one Honestly, of those little made the okay and see the fade at the end the fade won't really work for this now that I'm doing it the fade is not going to work so We'll just extend this right to there, and we're just going to delete all of the... Well, we didn't want to do that. Jeez Louise. Or you could also just Command, or I'm sorry, uh, Control Z. That will undo as well, but... It was one of those little cutie I mean. burps. There. <laughs> Alright, so that, that actually works out pretty well. One. That would have been hmm. actually really fun. That would have made the bloopers. It was one Honestly, of those little puny made... burps. Okay, and I since it's, I don't want just a black screen, so I'll go into up to here to title, default still, uh, 1920 by 1080, and I'll just add like a uh, just something dumb. So I said it's a puny burp, and I'm playing the fail price is right fail horn. So we can just say something like. Um, one, one like equals one, not plus, um, one like equals one prayer for puny burp. Now, I don't know how to spell puny, to be honest. Let's see. Oh, so that was correct. That's nice. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Puny? Puny. Puny. Okay, so it's P-U-N-Y. I knew that. Guys, I promise I'm smart. All right. One like equals one prayer for puny burp. Something dumb like that. Um, just witty and kind of funny. So I'll just do that. And as you see, this just does all sorts of stuff. I usually don't mess with this too much since this is on a black screen so um, let's go ahead and capitalize this actually um, and then I'll say something like since there was no really outro outro at the end I'll just say thanks for watching something like that so that looks pretty good and I'll pick a font that I like I'm a big fan of Bartho wheel um, it's just a fun font that I enjoy and it didn't even save what the heck all right, let's see, Bartho Wheel, very good. See, I just love that font. It's just a fun, cool looking font. So I'll make it kind of big, something like that. And then this one right here, this goes ahead and um, messes with the size up there. So as you see, like that. So we'll put it right about, right about there. And that looks pretty good. So we'll just X out. Then we'll add a title over this part. All right, and then I'll just kind of center it to the best of my ability. Something like that. I spelled burp wrong. 
Wow, I am stupid. Wow, dude, I am not very intelligent. All right. So, there, something like that. Okay? Um, and now I'll add a fade to black right at the end. So we'll have something like a so. It was one Honestly, of those little cutie we... burps. There. And that's the ending. So now we will get to working on these uh, little markers. So this first, first marker is when I pick up baller. So I was a little too quick to get baller in the beginning. Yeah, that's it's decent. Uh, I named him baller. Okay, so I get Baller. A Danny name at all? Uh, yeah, it does. does that... Okay, so I usually like to look right for when I get it. Okay, somehow... Um, pretty sure I didn't. That doesn't sound like a Danny name at all. Uh, yeah, it does. So usually, as soon as the screen goes to black, is when I will that add the Pokemon. Like a Danny name at all. Uh, so right, right there. So we'll just go like this, and we'll go back to um 83 we'll go like that and like that so then you don't even notice okay, somehow... um pretty sure i didn't that doesn't sound like a danny name at all uh yeah it does. boom so that's what we're gonna take problem we're gonna pick baller. solved baller Wish I did that so now we will go over to the next so i like to delete these once i always right click for some reason it's just a habit we'll delete that one this one is the nickname so this one's gonna take a while this one is just for a thumbnail um, so we are almost finished fully editing this thing. So let's go on over to this part. So as you see, we're talking, what we're doing is discussing the nickname for Mawile. And we concur that it should be named Levon Tuan. And I thought it would be funny to see how Danny would spell it compared to how I would spell it. So um, here's that. Oh, sometimes it does that because it doesn't render in time. Make I'm actually up. feeling really good about this. <laughs> I'm very proud. Oh. So the w the reason why I want to have this here is because you guys don't see how it, I don't it, know, it, it. I'm really gonna spell did. it, and then you tell me how you think I should spell okay. it. Okay. All right. You go ahead and spell it out, and then let me know because I have no idea okay. how. I'm gonna make. I'm it actually up. feeling really good about this. Okay. So right there is when I'll add it. So the way I'm gonna the, well the way I do end up spelling it. I'll show you guys. Okay, so we'll have my spelling. Um, again, I'm a big fan of Bartho Wheel. So we'll go like this. And now, since this is on a black background, I do tend to kind of. How do I word this? I do tend to add some layer stuff. Um, so we'll go like this and I will try to add a shadow uh, usually I put the opacity at 100 and it just adds a nice little shadow thingy um, and that's really all I do for this so it's pretty simple here are the numbers I don't really edit too much I just click shadow and then change the opacity so my spelling and then I'll put one of these and then I'll give my spelling so I think I spelt it lay von Tuan. I'm pretty sure that is how I'm pretty sure that's how I end up spelling it uh, if not I can correct it at the end um, but I'll just make this let's see I'll make this 200 okay and then I think let's see yeah 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 so I'm pretty sure that's how I spell it I do end up saying how I spell it um, and then Danny spells it like this so we're just going to do the same thing over again. Okay, so um, we'll do Danny's spelling. And she spells it, um, I'm going to do hers in all caps, just because that's how Danny always <laughs> does her names. So, Lay Von Tuan. So that's how Danny spells it. Okay, so we'll first change all of this to Bartho Wheel. Like a so. Um, there we go. So there's that. Um, I'll make that 100. I will make this 200. Um, you can also just do it manually if that's easier for you. 
um, but then we will also go ahead and add a shadow with the opacity of 100 and I don't know I think that just looks clean so there's that so I'm gonna go fast forward to where I tell my spelling okay wait yeah yeah. Alright, L E. Okay, I'm gonna write this down. I already wrote Danny's down. I should have wrote mine down. So I said L E E apostrophe <laughs> capital V O N capital T W A N. <laughs> that was uh, way. Okay, so the way I spell mine was incorrect. So L E. Okay, so it was almost right. Now it's correct. Leave Antoine. So now I will just go to when I start to say about this. Okay, so I will add this in there now. Alright, I'll kind of bring it down a little bit. So it'll be like, that. I'm very proud. How many letters do you get on the thing? And then we'll go into where Danny starts to spell. Spell it more phonetically correct, but that's that adds extra ghetto-ness to it. So, Leve Antoine is spelled L-A- Okay, so now with Danny's, I kind of forgot I was going to do this. <laughs> so, what I want to do with Danny's is... um. A little bit it's gonna be more difficult so this is actually going to be very time-consuming this part but like I said I like to add some and you know it just makes it better in the end so Danny spells hers so we're gonna end up making a lot of different titles here so we'll bring this back to title three but here's what we're gonna do so Danny spelling is like that and we're gonna have Danny spelling here okay All right, we'll change it to Bartho Wheel. I'll keep it at 100, and then go add the shadow at 50, or at 100. Okay, so there's that. So we'll add this right when Danny starts talking, and that'll carry all the way through. And we'll move it to right about, um, okay, well, I already messed it up again. So yeah, this is editing for you guys. <laughs> you know something like that but what I can actually do to make my life a hell of a lot easier is go back into the editing -ness and just go like that and then we can just go ahead and bring this right on back and bring it down okay so we'll do something like this and now we're going to go ahead and make a whole butt ton of individual letters so for me the easiest way to do this is to just get going now um, we're gonna get rid of this actually okay so the first letter we're going to do is L and I'm gonna have that she actually spelt this part correct so it would be like this well, first, okay, I'll do that. I'll do that later because I want to do too much at once. So we'll change that to Bartho Wheel, and this is just going to be the process for a lot of them. So we have L, but then we're going to make the color because she had the first letter correct because that's how I had mine. Um, so we'll make the color, let's see, what color green should we do? Uh, that looks right about good. So that's, let me write that down. That is D4, I'm sorry, 24D800. Okay. So we'll do that color green. Okay. Then, of course, we will add shadow 100%. Okay. So not, you know, pretty straightforward, right? Bada bing. And I also want to go ahead and just make this an automatically 
um, just so I could get everything centered we will just make a straight up lay von twan like that um, now what would be really funny okay so yeah that's what I'll do <laughs> All right. Um, okay. See, and that's another thing with editing. Sometimes you get ideas as soon as you you really get going. So that's what just happened to me. So I'll put this here for now. Um, we'll center it. All right. So we'll bring that up one. Oh no, we don't have to. We don't have to. Title seven we're gonna extend out so there's Leigh Antoine all capitalized and it'll be right under Danny's spelling so it'll be like right here is where I'll edit the stuff in and that's not staying as I said it's just for reference so for example what I'm talking about doing all right as you see and we'll just move that just so I mean it doesn't have to be perfect it's just so we get an idea but when she starts talking but that's that adds extra ghetto ness to it. So Le Antoine is spelled L A Y. Okay. So as you see, she goes L A Y in really quick succession. So what I'm gonna do is she got the first letter right, so that would be green. Second letter she got wrong, so that would be red, 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 because everything else basically is incorrect. Um, I was originally gonna go red, red, green, red, red, green, 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 red, green. But, um, I think now what I'm going to do is just kind of put a bunch of question marks just to save me. Uh, let me see. Okay, so she starts. So we'll do, a, we'll put that there ghetto ness to it so Leigh Antoine Twan is spelled L. L so that's where we'll put the L and for this part we really need to be on point with this okay so, so A is right about there so we'll have a red A Um, and we'll just do all this right now. We won't. We'll add in the stuff in a second. So let's add the red A now. All right. So it'll be a capital A. Change it to Bartha Wheel. All right. 200. And the color, we will make it red. And it just needs to be a big old red. So I don't really need to keep that reference. So. Um, that's a that. All right. And now we can use the same A for this part. So now we need a um, red Y. Probably should be naming these. I'm kind of forgetting to do that, but oh well. Now sometimes I really just want to do it this way because I feel like it's easier in my head, but in reality it's not, as you see. So then I end up wasting time and then I get angry. So this needs to be red as well. Just like a so. And actually, no, we'll do it right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bada bing. So we got the Y down. <clears throat> Now we will work on the V, and the V is actually going to be, um, and you see it doesn't really make sense because the V isn't in the right spot, but I think it could still be, it could still be kind of funny. So we'll just keep going this way, even though it's technically, technically not how you should really do it. Um, like if I gave her a set number of characters, that would be, probably would have been funnier, but that's all right. So uh, we'll add the shadow to this. Don't know why I'm doing it second, but I am. And we will change the color to, um, what was it? 24D 
800. Okay, so just like that. Very good. Um, and we'll make this V. Uh, this one is Y. This one is A. No idea what this... Okay, that's just that. Okay. We're making progress, everyone. We are making progress. So we're already at A. H we will do now. So this, this part's kind of tedious. You guys can skip through this part if you want. Um, I wouldn't judge you for it, I promise. Okay, but that's wrong. So, yeah. We'll go like that. Um, shadow 100. And change this to Bartho wheel. Please don't do it like that. See, the only I wish they made this a little bit easier. If you're listening out there, there you go, Adobe. Thank me later. I keep opening that. Okay, now we will do N, and N is actually going to help us. Then all we need to do is TWO. So, not bad. All right. This actually, I don't need to be perfect with this. We could just do it like this. So N, 200, Bartha wheel, change that B. We'll make this one, actually, you know what we will do? This one green, like a so. Um, what is it again? 24D800. Um, there you go. Okay, so pretty simple. Pretty simple. All right, and now we're going to go on to... I got to keep clicking that. We're going to go on the default still again. We're going to make a T now. Okay. And with the T, it's going to go like a this, like a that. like of that um, yeah I, you know again I, I don't know if this will really help you guys too much um, but if it does that's really awesome because I know when I first saw a tutorial of kind of just just watching somebody edit uh, really helped me a lot um, it really really helped me a lot um, because you know some stuff is super simple but it just seems super difficult and when and, you know in an actuality it's not difficult at all it's just a matter of knowing the program that you're using so hopefully one of you guys out there can take some um, kind of you know not joy but just learn something and I'm sure there's easier ways to do this trust me I am sure of it but I feel that this is how I do it and I just it's how I know to do it so if there is an easier way then awesome tell me it save me time <laughs> but if not I'm not going to stress over it too much so but as I say as I said this is usually how long it takes to edit it um, because like I said before there really isn't much going on in this episode as far as layouts go and you know usually like oh when a lot of Pokemon die or you get a lot of gym badges or something making the layouts and doing all that that takes a lot of time that takes a lot of time so that's why I really don't usually do that on camera or on camera no no I don't do it on camera I don't even know what I'm saying anymore um, so this one has to be red so we'll do it like that. And I'll add the shadow and that's the last one. So now we will get back to business. So this is where the A needs to go. So it'll be like this. I hate how it resets like that. I hate it. All right. L A Y. Okay, so the Y will go there. So it just goes right through. So we get something like this. 
spelled L A Y. Okay, now as you see, um, you won't really see the whole Levon Twan thing, so. L A Y. Um. B. Okay, right there is where we will put the V. All right, so it'll be like that. V. I got too excited. A A A A A A A A A A. Okay, so right there is where we will put the A again. Um, and these, you know, the, you can just kind of extend this out because I don't know how long she ends up, like, I don't know how long it takes. So, kind of just go like that. Did I move that? Yeah, I did. So, we'll fix that. Okay, so, so we're at L-A-Y-V-A. Okay, so there's the H then. Kind of like that. I'll extend that through. And oh yeah, that's another thing. I have oh, that reminded me. Let's go ahead and save. <laughs> this happens so many times. I have you know, there's auto save on this, but boy has it frigged me over. A H N. Okay, so then we'll put the N there. Yeah, it screwed me over a lot of times, guys. Like. There was a time when, when I edited basically the entire episode, and then I forgot to save. I lost everything. So, yeah. I don't really want to talk about it. At all, actually. So I'm not going to. That'll be the end of it. <laughs> so. And T. Okay, so that's where she says the T. So we'll add that in next. T oh wait, I probably should resize it. Actually, we don't really have to resize yet. Okay, that's where she starts to say W, and this probably would have been easier from the beginning. Darn it. W O N. O. And then she says. Okay, and that's where she starts to say the N. And of course, it freaking auto resets. I hate that. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and um, get these all settled here. So T, we'll put there. W, we will put there. So on and so forth. You get the gist. Oh, okay, N wants to be next. That's fine. Now let's do O. Yay, we did it. We did it. So the final product would be something like this. Um, and as you see, as I said, if you hit the tilde key, it expands. So as you see, we have everything. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of this stuff um, and then delete this because I don't need that anymore. That was just there for reference. But we'll just select it. And bring it down. Did I just move it? No, I couldn't have. No, I think I did. So yeah, I did. So let's do. Oh wow! Thank you, Premiere. Select it, and then see the little yellow thing where it says you are moving plus zero. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's that's what you want to do. So there we go. So we'll tilt it out. So the final product. I'm not sure where I should end it. And Levon Twan. Wow, that was way different. I did. You ready for this? <laughs> yeah. Actually, I'll probably extend it out until I'm done telling her how I did mine. So let's see. All right, L E apostrophe <laughs> capital V O N capital T W A N. <laughs> that was way different. All yeah. right. Well, you can like spell it way. your yeah. You can spell it your way. It's your Pokemon. Your well, Okay, so that, that seems about right. So, we'll just go like that. So, overall, this is how it would end up. 
Levon Tuan. If we're, I, I feel like I should spell it more phonetically correct. Actually, you know what we'll do? We will do it like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we'll just edit undo. I hate when it does that. We'll put this out a little bit further. So. <laughs> I feel like I should spell it more phonetically correct, but that's, that adds extra ghetto-ness to it. So, Levantuan is spelled L-A-Y-B-A-H-N-T-W-O-N. Um, Levantuan. Wow, that was way different. <laughs> so, okay, now that I just watched that, I want to put um, some sort of fail noise. I could do the Price is Right one again. Let me see how that would actually uh, kind of sound. Let me see. O-N. Levon. Tuan. Let's see. Levon Tuan. Wow. That was way different. I did great for this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. L-E. Yeah, that's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. I guess we could keep that. Apostrophe. <laughs> capital V O N. Capital. Uh, one thing I do want to switch around though. Oh boy, that is okay. You know, we'll not we'll keep it. T. I was gonna move all of this down, but I actually like it up a little bit higher. W A N. <laughs> that was way different. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you can like spell it way. your yeah. You can spell it your way. It's your Pokemon. You're well, stuck with it now. It's okay. So that's basically that, and that really is all the editing I needed to do for this episode. So, as you see, everything is all squared away, and this is just the thumbnail, so I know the look around 20 for the thumbnail, um, which we will do right now, but that is the complete episode, so we'll go ahead and save. Uh, usually this is full, full of layouts, full of them, but we, like I said, we got really lucky this episode, so figured I would do a little more editing. Um, just because there wasn't much of anything else to do. So, yeah, that's that's basically that. So, like I said, I just love to save it 9,000 times. I will render this after the video is over. Um, I will show you kind of my setup that I do. So, um, I have all sorts of different presets. So, very high quality is what I do all my pack openings in. Uh, as you see, this would be 7.5 gigs if I did it, so I don't use it for pack locks. Um, pack lock, and then I do high, high quality for like other stuff. Um, the main one that I do for pack lock is it's called pack lock. Sometimes I'll, I will use maximum render quality, um, and then I will VBR two pass, which essentially just makes it higher. You know, it just makes it a little more cleaner. But uh, these really take a long time to render. Um, and I have a beast computer. I have a, you know, an i7-47, or wait, what do I even have in this thing anymore? I completely forget. I the My computer specs are in my description of my YouTube, so you can go look. Or they're on my channel, so I'll just go look at those. But yeah, it's an i7 processor, one, the brand new one. A freaking, you know, I have a, a 970 in this bad boy, and it still takes a while to render. So... Yeah, but as you see, the final outcome will only be seven, seven. That's actually not bad. So, this is if you want to take a look at everything, um, you can just look here. That's basically all I have here. So you can pause the video and try to match the settings if you're doing a let's play. Uh, if you want to do a very high quality opening, like I like to do, this is the output that I do. I do VBR two pass, uh, maximum render quality, and it usually, you know, for like a five to ten minute video it'll usually range but it usually takes about 20 minutes to render which isn't bad um, but like I said we're just going to go ahead and use the pack lock um, preset I'm just gonna go like that and then we go uh, like that and this the, the bit rate really doesn't matter obviously the higher the bit rate the higher the quality um, but three and four is perfectly fine um, but like I said I'm not gonna render this right now just because I want to show you guys how to do the thumbnail um, so, now uh, let's pop this open, and I will show you how I do the thumbnails. Alright, so this is basically the setup. Now, um, we'll just go over here. If you guys, I'm going to assume you guys have a basic knowledge of Photoshop and, and uh, Premiere when I do this stuff, but 
So that's basically done. Now all we have to do now is add the screenshot. And I don't usually, I always forget to delete these. So as you see, I think this is from like episode 14 or something. I never delete them. But uh, what I do is I go into the raw file, which is right here. Um, and I kind of look for the 20 mark. Very good. So we're getting there. There was one that I really liked. Okay, yeah, that was the shot. That was the shot. So let's try to capture that. Oh, dang it. I hate this. I feel like there's such an easier way to do it, and I just don't know it. That could work. There we go. That's pretty good. So I'll just print screen, um, and then I just go like this, and I save that to the desktop. Okay. So as you see, there's this. All you gotta do is you go to your desktop or wherever you saved it, doesn't really matter. Add that thing in and do a little bit of this action. Alright, so the final product, oh yeah. That is what I call a screenshot, my friends. That is a sick looking thumbnail. And there you go. Oh, also to do this, you just hold the Alt key and scroll on your mouse. So yeah, that is a pretty good looking thumbnail, if I do say so myself. Um, and then that's basically it guys. That is how I do openings and, and pack locks and any other type of editing. That is the process I go through. Um, it's fun to me. Like does it take a long time? Yes, it definitely takes a while. But it's fun to me. I enjoy doing it. Um, and also I, I made this so you guys kind of see how much work does go into just editing a, a video. You know, not only do you sit there recording it, but you got to edit it and render it. So the process, you know, in total, I don't know how long I've been recording for. For this session, I've been recording for about 45. The first one was about 15. So, you know, you're looking at about an hour, and that was with cuts. You know, I didn't, you know, you add in watching the whole video. And then, you know, beforehand, I already had them pre-sized and pre-rendered so I could just slap them on. You know, you're looking at a long, it takes a long time. And, um, you know, but like I said, I love doing it. It's a lot of fun to me. Um, I have a blast doing it. I love doing it, so that's why I, I, I do do it, obviously. Um, but yeah, hopefully this helps you guys out. If it does, let me know in the comments. If it doesn't, you know, that's whatever. Um, but I just, you know, I thought I, would, I had to get this done, and it was a lot of fun to edit and, edit and uh, kind of record myself editing it. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. If you enjoyed, please be sure to let me know. Like I said before, I feel like I already said that. But, um, yeah, that, that really does it. That really does it. That is how I edit my videos. So this isn't really a tutorial. It's not quite a whatever. It's kind of like a let's play but of editing. So, yeah, if you guys want if you guys want to see me do one of a pack opening or do one of an arcade block or whatever, let me burp. Let me know. But, um... Yeah, it's it's all really the same process. So, anyways, thank you guys all so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.